please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this lecture i will clear development of male gametophyte in angiosperms dear students that male gametophyte possesses two male gametes or two microgametes so this entire process of development it is named microgametogenesis very important topic for bsc students dear students in this lecture today i will clear development of male gametophyte or it is microgametogenesis dear students this entire process it is divided into two steps first step is pre pollination development that occurs before the pollination and the second step occurs after pollination that is post pollination development not down in case of angiosperms the development of male gametophyte that is precocious dear students precocious it means development of male gametophyte or microgametogenesis that begins inside the pollen sac or microsporangium before the pollen is released from the pollen sac that kind of development which occurs inside the pollen sac before the release of pollen that is precocious development this is the structure of pollen grain or microspore having outer wall that is made up of exogen and entine this wall it is sporoda and dear students this entire microspore pollen and pollen grain it is haploid unicellular uninucleated structure it becomes enlarged after absorbing the nutrients and in that cytoplasm in this protoplasm one or more vacuoles appear later on the protoplast undergoes first mitotic division first of all nuclear division that is karyokinesis as a result two daughter nuclei are formed later on cell wall formation also occurs as a result due to first mitotic division in this microspore two unequal cells are formed this larger cell it is vegetative or it is pollen tube cell dear students this large size cell this is vegetative cell or it is tube cell and this small cell this small cell it is generative cell it means this microspore or pollen grain it undergoes first mitotic division it gives rise to unequal cells this large size cell it is vegetative or tube cell and this small size cell it is generative cell generally in case of angiosperms more than 60% of angiosperms the pollen that is transferred over the female part stigma at this two cell stage not down competitive exam students in case of angiosperms more than 60% of angiosperms mostly dicots the pollen grain at this two cell stage having one vegetative cell and second generative cell at this two cell stage the pollen is transferred over the female part pistil at this entire process of male gametogenesis that occurs before pollination so that kind of development is pre pollination development dear students in some cases this microspore may consist of three cells one vegetative or tube cell and this generative cell divides into two male gametes it means at three cell stages in some cases the pollen grain reaches over the female part stigma generally in most of angiosperms the pollination at the time of pollination the pollen which reaches over the stigma at two cell stages but in some cases there are three cells two male gametes in which this generative cell divides into 
two male gametes and the third cell that is vasitity or tube cell it means before pollination in this microgametogenesis generally the pollination at the time of pollination at two cell stages the pollen reaches over the stigma but in certain cases it may consist of three cells post pollination development it means development of male gametophyte after pollination when the pollen is the pollen grains the microgamete which reaches over the stigma here the vegetative tube cell of a microspore or pollen grain that absorb absorbs nutrients from this stigmatic secretion dear students the pollen grains after reaching over this stigma absorb nutrients and water from the stigmatic secretion as a result the pollen grain germinate and the pollen tube that comes out here this is a germinating pollen grain the pollen tube that comes out through this germ pore and the po the pollen tube which grows through this female part through the stigma style and finally it reaches in ovary in that pollen tube the terminal part possesses vegetative or tube nucleus and as well as in this pollen tube the generative cell also moves down finally this generative cell it undergoes second mitotic division to give rise to male gametes dear students this entire structure in which two male gametes or microgametes are present so it is male gametophyte in this male gametophyte one pollen tube nucleus and two male gametes are present so it is three celled stage not down and in the development of this entire male gametophyte two mitotic divisions first mitotic division occurs here the microspore that is immature male gametophyte and that immature male gametophyte its protoplasm divides first mitotic division as a result two unequal sized cells one is vegetative second is generative cell and the second mitotic division occurs in this pollen tube when the generative cell give rise to male gametes it means a mature male gametophyte having three cells one pollen tube cell and two male gametes having three nuclei one pollen tube nucleus and two male gamete nuclei and this entire pollen tube having three zones this terminal part it is growth zone or it is cap look middle part is it is nuclear zone having three nuclei one pollen tube nucleus and two nuclei of male gametes and this upper part of the pollen tube having vacuoles having active and inactive cytoplasm as well as in this region callous plugs are present because the callous wall develops over the generative cell in this pollen tube in this region it is vacuolization zone and in this vacuolization zone callous plugs are present this is all about development of male gametophyte and this is the structure of mature male gametophyte in which two male gametes are present and this entire process involves two mitotic divisions and it consists of three cells and one pollen tube and two male gametes
दिस इज ऑल अबाउट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मेल गैमेटोफाइट और माइक्रो गैमेटोजेनेसिस